Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare ClickUp with Asana. The first thing I'm going to compare are pricing plans. Then I'm going to compare workspaces like how it feels to add tasks, custom fields, integrations, templates, etc. So without further ado, let's start. Both Asana and ClickUp offers you a free account where you got unlimited tasks, unlimited projects, so that's thumbs up for both. But then you get a premium and business account and let's talk about the monthly. So let's say that you want to all actually just test it out. So that's $14.50, that's like $16 for premium, where you got timeline dashboards, and I would recommend going with the premium only because on basic account you don't even have custom fields, so it's really limited. And you get like rules, milestones, so that's 11 euro. Uh, in ClickUp, when you got monthly, that's $9. So you see that ClickUp is much cheaper comparing to Asana. But we can say that Okay, but maybe Asana got better features. So let's find out. When you enter ClickUp and Asana, there is first advantage I see ClickUp has over Asana, and that's a dark mode. When you go to the left bottom and you would click dark mode, you can see it by yourself that if you like to work in the evenings, this is a huge, huge advantage ClickUp has. Asana, people on the forum were asking for dark mode for a really long time, and Asana still didn't implement it. So thumbs up for ClickUp. Now let's compare how it feels to create workspaces and how many templates they actually have. So when you come to ClickUp and I'm going to click add new, I can add new space and you have option to create directly new space name or template. So let's just create space first and you will see that it's really complex. So I'll need to add a space name. I'll get the YouTube next. Then I'm going to choose a color, whatever. Then you can have like have it private or for team members. Now I have templates here. Like what is this? These are that you're gonna have in your in your space. So let's say that I'm going to delete real Kanban or no Kanban content can be deleted. So right, I'm going to have only these. Now, you can also add a status into it, but we will get further into it. I don't I don't want to show the status. I want to show you how to you can add status directly in uh, the folder. So let's click next. Right here, you can turn on or turn off click apps. You got like sprints here, time estimates and milestones. You can really choose which one you need. But as you can see right now, it's quite complex, right? Time tracking. Click next. Then you can have default settings for views. These are the views that you can have on a right here. And you can choose which, are, which one you want. Let's say that I want to have table and I want to have timeline. And I can review the space. And now space name, avatar, share with, task statuses, click apps, default settings for views. Create space. And now you got it. So this is how it is and this is how it feels to use. But okay, it was quite complex. But let's say that I want to add a template into it. Can you can you think right now where you can find it? Because I don't know. And this is the few things that I see a little bit, I don't want to say frustrating, but sometimes I'm I get lost in Click up because what you need to do is this. Look at this. You need to add new, click on space because if can someone find me here, I'll be so damn happy. Okay, so add new, click space, then click templates, and now you have templates here. And what you need to do is this. You let's say that I'm going to stop here, and now we go through Asana, how it works to create workspaces, and then we will end up in templates too. In Asana is much simpler. I come here, I click plus, I click here use template or import spreadsheet or blank project straight away. So I'm going to click here use template, right? Or let's say I'm going to blank project. And now project name can be YouTube blank. I can change the privacy. I can edit as a board list timeline. Let's go with timeline. Let's create a project straight away and I can start working. Do you see the difference? And you get everything here you need. Let's say that I want to add a template. So I'm going to create a project with a template. And okay, I have templates that I can use. 
in ClickUp, it's same. So I can choose, let's say, Company Progress Processes. And now I can click Use Template or Add to Workspace. Here the current process has been added. But, you know, where? <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I just, just don't understand. Use Template. Enter dog name. Uh, let's add it. Um, I don't know. And select location, YouTube, right? Or you can add it also to list. And this is how you can add extra templates to your. So voila, here we got it. And here is the template in our in our space. But to do that, I would really be interested if I could like add it directly here, you know, under the space to add a template into it. So this is the first disadvantage I personally see in Asana. I just choose business continuity plan. I click use template. And now business continuity project name, create a project. So this is works a little bit different. It depends which one you like, which one you don't like. But yeah, now let's focus on how we can add tasks. In Asana, you can simply come here. You're going to arrow. You can add a milestone or section. So I'm going to add a section and YouTube. Now I can simply add a task. Let's go YouTube video. Here we got it. I can move it, let's say to the section. That looks really great. And I can click on the details. And right here, I can see assignee. I can edit due date. Okay. Then I like in which project it's going to be this task. So I can actually pre-link it. I can add dependencies, I can add a description, or I can also add a subtask here. And this is going to be YouTube description. So in the video, I want to have a YouTube description, someone make a YouTube script. These are my subtasks, subtasks in my task. Now I can like this, I can also add attachments, copy task link, I can mark it as a milestone, approval, I can duplicate the task simple or I can add the comments here. Okay, so this is how it feels to add it in Sana. Let's check ClickUp. In ClickUp, let's go to list. Now, okay, so how? I can click new task here. And I can add YouTube or new list, YouTube. Okay, so I have in to do. But how can I, again, I'm thinking like I'm trying to make it intuitive, right? Like how can I add a new, you know, this, this is add fascinating. So I could, I would go here to board and add it here as progress. I don't know. Okay, so click plus here. I don't know. So I have a YouTube here. I click on this. And now you see it here is a little bit more complex, but understandable. You can assign it, you can change the priority. Then you have a YouTube here. Then you can add a description. Then you have subtasks here. So this is really similar. So add subtask or you can add a checklist. So subtask one. And you can add also checklist name, what needs to be done. So YouTube description. You scroll down below, you can add attachments. On the right side, you can add the comments. And then you have a time tracking. So that's great. Here that you can actually start time tracking on your, on your task. So, okay, we got it. Voila, when I click on the subtask, it rolls like this. In Asana, I click on the subtasks, it puts me directly in a task, and I can see right here the subtasks. So, okay, I think Asana is much simpler, and Asana is winning the battle of how we can actually you know, add tasks and how it feels of adding tasks. And I just don't know like how to add new list here.
And I completely understand when people say that sometimes it's difficult to understand ClickUp. I completely agree. Can add a new list, but it will create new things here. So uh, this is what I want to say to you directly in, in the beginning of the video. Use ClickUp if you really like complexity. And what I'm going to show you will blow your mind the, the differences. When you would come here to ClickUp, you can see on right side plus and you can add custom fields. You got like drop down menu, formulas, even labels, locations, numbers, people, phone, progress, automatic or manual. Then let's say that I want to add location or phone number, website even, right? You can really choose which one you want. And I'm going to also add a formula. So this is really pretty, really easy to do. And I can add a field type. Okay, add a column. And I can plus, minus. I can really choose or I can go with advanced editor and I can choose functions. In Asana, it's quite limited. You go here, you click plus, you can add a drop down, text, number, percent, currency, choose from library. If you have perfect idea, idea status. And you see right here that it's really like Asana is a wonderful tool if you want to use it uh, for just project management. Like let's say how to make a YouTube video. I need a description, I need script, I need someone for editing, I need for someone for the design of thumbnail. And I don't have to do any formulas, any counting, any phone numbers, any maps, nothing. Just pure project management tool. Nothing complex, right? And this is what Asana is about. It's simple, it's easy. You got it, right? So, but ClickUp is winning with the features here. There's no arguing about that. You can add the currency, but just like, it's limited. But it just, I understand Asana perspective. I, Asana, I understand Asana strategy that they focus mainly on project management, nothing else. Just fulfilling the tasks. So let's go further to views. When we compare the views, Asana is losing the battle. You got a list here, you got boards, timeline, calendar, dashboard that you can use, messages, click more, and you can add the files. In ClickUp, when you would come here, you have also boards name, timeline, table. This is like just the table is just a huge advantage. You click plus view and you can add a map. You can add activity. You can add a box. Gun chart, mind map, table, as I mentioned, workload, like see your team's capacity. You can have a chat here, a doc, amped, form. So as you can see, ClickUp offers more features. But again, do you actually need them? That's the question, right? When we compare, for example, the Kanban board and I come here to Asana. Okay, I see it here. So we got a YouTube video. Then let's say that I'm going to make it like finish and progress. Okay, that, that works fast. I can simply move it. Feels good. Add task. I finished YouTube video yoga. I can click on it. It's fast, quick, right? Let's compare it with ClickUp. New task, YouTube video two. Right now it's in progress. I can click on it. Boom. I see it here. Really simple, really easy. And I like it. Name, when we compare it to like calendar, same thing first. So I can see all my tasks here. And what's happening? Dashboard. You can see all the analytics here. And that's pretty much it. So you can see it right here. Asana offers less features comparing to ClickUp. But the question for you is you actually need them or no. When you compare integrations, Asana is winning. Yes, they got the most base one. Yeah. But when you come here to importers, to file sharing, to Google, what you can get. Comparing to integration of ClickUp, you see right here that yes, they got cloud storage, then time tracking, also ClickUp API, okay, Zapier, both got Zapier, so you can use it with Gmail and everything, and Asana too, but they got development for made by Asana that you can use, that you don't have to actually use Zapier, that you can actually connect it directly with Asana. 
So integration wise, Asana is winning. And if you want to use Asana on Android, I have Android, I don't have iPhone, so I can give you really advice about iPhone. I recommend going with Asana, not only because of the reviews, but when you would come here to ClickUp, and also this is ClickUp Logistics 2. You can also get ClickUp Manager, which is like got really bad reviews. You can see it right here. And I would recommend using ClickUp only for views. So viewing, uh, I re don't recommend editing anything there. It's bugging and it's just not that great. Asana, on the other hand, is just top notch. Uh, but yeah. So use Asana if you want to use on Android. So if you want to use project management a lot on mobile, I would go definitely with Asana. In my opinion, there are two winners here. Both ClickUp and Asana are great, but they are really good for different things. So if you're looking for a good mobile application, more integration and simple project management tool, which is going to be enough for you, go with Asana. If you don't desire to use, uh, I don't know, formulas, views, and also with tables, uh, mind maps, you don't actually need ClickUp. That's what I think. ClickUp is more difficult. You saw it by yourself, adding things, managing, like seeing how things work. It's just worse comparing to Asana or more difficult. It depends how you look at it, right? But that's pretty much it. Use ClickUp, as I mentioned, when I go here to table, click plus here, and you can add labels, progress, everything. You don't have it in Asana. That's a huge thing. Also, if you like dark mode, I recommend going with ClickUp. ClickUp is a great tool. I mean, you are not going to make a mistake if you choose ClickUp. But still, I would go if, look, I'm someone who is creating uh, YouTube videos. I would definitely go with Asana. Like, no talking about that. Only because Asana is simpler. And for me, it's enough. Even when I'm going to pay two, three euro a month more, or like even stay like four euro a month, I don't really care because that's what I actually need. And I would use it a lot on mobile. So for me, Asana, uh, Asana is a top notch. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments and have a great day and goodbye.